Friday night, first beer of the night. I'm going to be doing the Nanny State, which is a brew dog clone by a colleague of mine, coming in at a hefty 0.3% alcohol. That's right, nearly a alcohol-free beer. Um, brewed this up, like I said, out of the uh, brew dog recipe book. So let's go ahead, get this into the glass. I'll share the experience. Wow, that's a beautiful looking beer right there. You guys can probably see through that. Wow. Gorgeous. This is by my colleague, uh, his name is Yomar. Huh, it's got a bit of a uh, whiny, grainy sort of aroma. So nothing off, uh, really, really light aroma. Let's go ahead and uh, dig in. Thanks a lot, Yomar, for sharing this with me. Cheers, bro. Oh man, that's actually very nice. It's like a really hoppy, um, it's like a hoppy lager, really. Um, just beautiful. Now, the, the head did die down uh, really, really quickly, but it's still got good carbonation in there. All kinds of interesting grains that went into here. Um, well, actually not all kinds, it was very little, but uh, to get that color, and it's a really nice smelling, crisp, clean kind of beer. Super light body. But, uh, oh, it's got that really nice citrusy uh, hoppiness to it. All right. It's, um, yeah, it, 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 it's what I would expect from like a brew dog type of beer. But um, very light body. Nice light maltiness to it, ever so slightly. And then uh, just that really nice citrusy hoppiness. So, really cool. Nice beer, Yomar. I can see why you like this one. Yeah, that's very cool. Might have to try one of these. Cheers. All right, so I'm gonna break into another beer tonight, but first I wanted to showcase all of these that were given to me by an ex-colleague of mine called Jan, you know who you are, sir. And uh, he goes by the name Flash Heart Craft Beers on YouTube. So go ahead and look him out. He does all kinds of really cool uh, beers, and he just surpassed his 50th batch. So congratulations to you on that. Well done. He's given me uh, these four beers to try. The first one is a New England IPA. Really looking forward to cracking that one open tonight. Also, got this Flash Heart Craft beer. It's a porter. Smoke and Oak porter. Look at that ship on there. Got to enjoy a ship. You know, being a Navy guy, I enjoy the ships. Here's a, a Belgian specialty ale. Won't even try and pronounce that one. And this one doesn't have a label, but I believe it's a Schwartz beer. So, uh, yeah, looking for it. I've never, I don't think I've actually ever had a Schwartz beer. Um, but really looking forward to giving it a whirl. So let's go ahead, get these off here. I'm going to crack open the uh, New England IPA tonight and give that a try and share the experience. All right. Had to get out the, uh, the big brother Tiku. And uh, just to give you a contrast, you know, they got the smaller ones, 33, and of course you want the, you want the big ones to hold as much as possible for these big boys. So here's a 500 milliliter. Let's go ahead and crack it open, share the experience. Here we go, Jan. Ooh, I can smell it. Good carbonation there. Wow. Look at that. Nice looking beer. See the reflection through there on the bottom. It's kind of a uh, smoky brown. Let's see if we can get that a little bit better. It's kind of a, it's supposed to be a New England IPA. A little bit dark, probably like a Crystal Lady in there or something. I know I'm just guessing, but uh, 
definitely getting some 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 hops there getting the um, a little bit of tropical sort of a nice sweet orange um, lemon yeah there's not a lot coming through the head so let's go ahead and just dive in and give this a whirl thanks a lot Jan for sharing this with me appreciate it cheers all right very nice definitely a different mouth body compared to the uh the nanny state um it's got a really sort of a, a medium mouth feel on the light side of medium the uh taste follows the aroma as well it's a really nice light uh tropicalness to it with a, a bit of tangerine in there a little bit of orange uh rind um the bitterness is uh, really light uh, which is cool for this style of beer. Um, it should be more juicy, right? Then, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive in again. Mm. Mm. Get a little bit of uh, floral notes in there as well. Yeah, it, it's actually... It's more about the tropical and floral notes on this one. So, really digging it. Uh, really nice beer, Jan. Uh, it's good carbonation, but you know it doesn't have that carbonic bite to it, which is really nice. Um, it is a little bit light on the, uh, the aroma and on the flavor. You know, at 130 IBUs, I would expect it to be a little bit more, but I guess that that's calculated. And, uh, yeah, we all know what calculations sort of do. I mean, the equipment um, has a whole lot to do with how those IBUs shine through. But uh, this is really nice. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. And, uh, hey, really, truly appreciate it. Cheers. Have to come back on this. Check that out. That's just like uh, puffy, creamy lacing on that. I mean, wow. That's a tremendous job. Really nice looking beer on that, Jan. Tastes really good. Still, uh, yeah, still tasting really, really nice. Tropical, citrusy, floral. I mean, it's, it's really got those elements, so uh, yeah. Really appreciate you uh, meeting up with me and uh, doing a beer swap. This is fantastic. Thanks a lot. Cheers.